एक्स्ट्रा टाइम A chance to seal the series tomorrow. I mean, how big a statement would that be? How big an achievement would that be? A brilliant achievement to win in India um, against a top side. Um, I think it gives a, you know, a massive opportunity. Also, it can give us huge confidence going um, into the English summer and you know the World Cup being here. So, I think I think although we're, we're trying a few different things, a few different rules um, for certain players. I think it is a good opportunity, you know, when you put wins on the board like we did before the 50 over World Cup, it gives you confidence, um, and I, we're not going to take a backward step now. So um, it's sort of keep going to try and to to get that series win. And you're obviously not playing in the IPL this year, but is there a more conscious effort to learn as much as you can in this series, given the World Cup is in India in, in seven months' time? Absolutely. Um, watching their bowlers, um, I played with um, Shadow Thakur at Chennai, um, and he's got a new slower ball. Um, so just looking at that and how well that's worked here is that something I could try and adapt into my game. Um, my role's been pretty clear in the the plans that I've been trying to do, but you know behind the scenes I'm I'm still trying to learn new things. Uh, slower balls, try and get better at my yoga bowling. Um, so there is things always to improve on, but. It's always trying to pick up things. You know, the, these are the conditions we're going to come up against in the World Cup. So, um, it's trying to get the right skills in place to to be able to adapt on on any given surface or or the type of pitches we might come across here. Can I just ask you about the the toss? A lot's been made that the team batting second wins so far in this series. How big an advantage is that that for you? And how hard is it to bowl uh, with the dew? I think it's a a bit of a plus and minus actually because um, if you bowl second, you get to see what the opposition have done, what works for them. Um, but both teams, the way that their batting lineups are, clearly like the chase. So um, it, often we know that we're going to be bowling first if we win the toss. Um, that's just because that's how we play and how we back ourselves. If the wicket determines something different, then I'm sure we'll be happy to bat first. And we've got that lineup that you know we've got confidence in every player in that dressing room that if we need to. You know, bat first and get a big score. I'm sure we can do that. Um, and like I say, when you watch the opposition ball, as you get to see, oh, the slow balls are working, or um, you need a ball slightly fuller or slightly shorter or whatever it may be. So you do get a feel off the opposition as well. Um, but like I say, both teams do like the chase. So um, the the due factor, um, I'm not sure that it's really. Um, in terms of how I how I felt, I'd, I've bowled obviously first twice, but. I'll have to see if it happens to me next game, but I, I don't feel like it would be something that would make me nervous or um, something I feel we couldn't deal with. So um, if we execute well, um, like we did last game, then I'm sure we can we can do well. How pleased are you with the way you're bowling, particularly your pace bowling alongside Jofra Archer? You guys working in tandem, and do you feel now you're you're a, a key component of this T20 team? No, I, I don't really feel that. I feel like um, I've Played well in a couple of games, um, but you know, last summer I played well against Australia, and then I missed out in South Africa. So we've got that many good bowlers that um, I don't feel like my place is a given. Um, it, it gives me another chance to prove myself in this series, and ultimately, we all want to be part of that group that plays in the World Cup and hopefully wins the World Cup um, for England. We've got, like I say, we've got plenty of backup. People will go in and out of form. Injuries will come and go. So it's important that um, as a group, um, no one takes the spot for granted. And we've seen that in, in most interviews you do. You always get asked about Joffre Archer and always compared to how fast you two bowl. Does that frustrate you a bit that you're not sort of being recognised as an own entity in that regard and constantly being compared to another fast bowler? It doesn't It doesn't bother us in terms of being compared. It's just it's just, it's the same question all the time, isn't it? That's the, that's the um, oh, do you and Joff try and bowl faster than each other and I think now we've played together so much that we just play each other's roles. We enjoy playing together. Um, it brings the best out of me as it does, I'm sure, with him. So um, we just concentrate on our on our own roles. Um, and when we bowl together, it's um, it's it's exciting. So um, we bowled well together the other game and got partnership of the match or partnership of the match or something like that, which is um, it's great to be able to back that up together um, and, and put the pressure on the opposition. Owen said before the series that uh, this is the last time he'll have his strongest group of players. So how much confidence does it give you knowing that you're in that group of players that 
he prefers ahead of the World Cup. Yeah, a lot of confidence. Um, I think he's a, you know, Morgan's a great leader. Um, someone that you know, when I don't play, he tells me, you know, straight why I'm not playing or what I, what he wants me to improve on. Um, and then it, during the games or, or when I am playing, it's very clear my role. It's very clear um, what, what he's after for me in the game in terms of plans and things. So it gives me a lot of confidence that he sees me that way. Um, obviously, I've played a lot of games under his captaincy. Um, so we both, I think, get on well and know each other well um, well enough to, to have that relationship. Um, so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm delighted that he feels that way, but that doesn't by any means um, mean that I'm a given in the team. So I've got to keep working hard off the field as well as on the field um, and keep delivering. How pleasing was it to deliver a winning performance on O Morgan's hundredth Test uh, T Twenty cap? Yeah, it was. You know, it's brilliant for him. Um, Josh spoke fantastic in the in the huddle. Um, he really spoke well for Morgie. They're, they're obviously close friends. Um, we all you know, respect Morgie a huge amount. Um, a lot of us have played a lot of games under him. We're, we're very close friends, close as a group. Um, so I was delighted for Morgie, you know, to receive that that sort of respect from, from from Joss um and the rest of the group really loved it as well and to get the win sort of tops it off for him I guess um it was a good performance and, and one that I'm sure he'll remember for his hundredth game um he's led the side really well he's a, a fantastic leader and you know Joss is a, a leader as well um so for those two guys to to stand up and you know get that win was was important Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on Extra Time.